Hello, good morning. I'm very happy to be here today. It was a great overview of the exciting day ahead, so I hope that you're all ex as excited as I am. Uh, my name's Caitla Nykum, and I uh, will be introducing our speakers today, and I'm based in Berlin and work with a handful of exciting projects at the Web3, social good, and creative economy intersections. Um, some of them we'll be hearing from today, like the Token Engineering Academy, as well as Sovereign Nature Initiative. And I'm particularly excited for today's event, diving deep into complex technical concepts from a non-technical perspective. So I work in Web3 marketing, and this is my day-to-day. -day. I'm very excited for that. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce our first keynote, which is Merrick from Cello and C Labs. So he'll be presenting real-world impact of various projects within the Cello ecosystem and the protocol level that has advanced Cello's mission to build a regenerative financial system that creates the conditions of prosperity for all. So let's give a hand to Merrick. Thank you. Wow, it's good to see you guys. We made it. Can you believe it? It's 10.30 a.m. We could all be under our sheets, nice and snug, sleeping in from, you know, um, sleeping in this morning after last night's festivities. But yet, you all made it. You climbed up the hill, and you're here. And so I really appreciate that. It's really good to, to see you all. Um, so my name is Marek Kolshevsky. I'm one of the co-founders of Cello. And today, we're going to be talking about um, ultra green money. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to start with Stella's mission. Uh, who here is familiar with Stella's mission? Okay, we got a few folks here. Stella's mission is to build a regenerative economy that creates the conditions for prosperity for everyone. And we've been working and thinking about this mission for quite a while now, uh, going as far back as 2018, when we started uh, thinking about Cello's white papers. So, so Cello's white paper, we actually started writing it at the end of 2017 and into the beginning of 2018. And it's, who here has read the Cello white paper, just out of curiosity? Okay, we've got maybe just five, six, seven hands. Um, highly recommend it. Um, it's uh, really fascinating to go back and, and look at it because, you know, um, Obviously, the Cello platform has evolved uh, a lot, uh, but there are these little glimpses of what we were hoping might happen uh, in the future uh, that uh, you, you may notice. You know, we, we talk a lot about social payments uh, in the Cello white paper. We talk a lot about local and regional currencies uh, in the paper. Uh, we talked about social dividends. Uh, and then finally, we talk about natural back nature-backed capital. Um, and if you fast forward to today, uh, it's just been really heartwarming to see just so many uh, people be inspired um, by Stella's mission, uh, by the white paper, and by the whole community that has formed around it, uh, and that has actually started implementing so many of these different ideas. Um, and so, of course, uh, on the social payment front, there's just so much happening in the Stella ecosystem. You've got the OG Valora, which is the social payment wallet that we built at the same time as Celo in order to help influence decisions on the platform level. Who here has Valora or has installed it in the past? If you haven't yet installed it, I would highly recommend checking it out. And if you have installed it but haven't used it in a while, I would also check it out because it's, it keeps getting better. Uh, every two weeks there's a new release and it just keeps getting better and better. It's just such a great example of um, what you can build on top of Cello. You can pay for gas with tokens, so you can send stable coins to friends and family members easily. You can send money to phone numbers in, in a really easy way that works across different wallets and it's just a really joy to use. Uh, more recently, uh, Minipay has joined the ecosystem. Uh, so Minipay um, is uh, a stablecoin wallet that has been embedded into Opera Mini. Opera Mini is a browser that has 100 million users worldwide, uh, 500 million downloads. It's used primarily in emerging markets, and they've built basically Valora into Opera Mini. So you can, again, uh, send stablecoins to friends and family members in your contact list with ease, and, and their goal is to become a Pan-Africa Venmo. Um, 
On the community currency front, uh, we've seen uh, just an incredible amount of projects uh, also launching on the Stella platform. We've got um, grassroots uh, economics, so Will Ruddick and the team over there have done a fabulous job um, creating uh, these community currencies, uh, these mutual credit-based community currencies that now uh, have been deployed into tens if not hundreds of communities throughout Kenya, uh, creating liquidity and facilitating trade in places where traditionally that liquidity was, was absent and where it was actually quite difficult for people uh, to have uh, that kind of trade. Um, and so it's just a really, really great example of you know, one of many, many community currencies now that have started flourishing on the platform. On the social dividend front, uh, you've probably heard of Good Dollar. Uh, Good Dollar is almost uh, done migrating uh, fully from the Fuse Network onto Celo. Uh, Good Dollar uh, has their own asset called the Good Dollar Token uh, that they've been distributing out to their beneficiaries. Anyone can sign up. They have a facial recognition um, flow that you can go through, uh, and you can start receiving Good Dollars every day. Uh, some really great stats, 606, sorry, 560,000 uh, beneficiaries that have been receiving uh, Good Dollar today. And one thing that they've done that I think is pretty unique is they've tried to make Good Dollar more than just a UBI asset. They've made it a, um, a medium of exchange asset. So they've encouraged people to use it as a medium of exchange. They've encouraged people to use it in DeFi. Uh, and by doing so, they've been able to create value for the token um, so that it can drive more value towards kind of this UBI use case. And so it's pretty neat. And so uh, with this in mind, they have facilitated, I think, 1.4 million uh, P2P transactions with, I think, yeah, $6 million worth of value that's been circulating in this good dollar economy. Impact Market is uh, another incredible UBI project built on Celo. Uh, we'll be hearing from Will Lee uh, later today, uh, who's the new CEO of, of uh, Impact Labs. Um, and Impact Market um, has raised over $3 million. They've dispersed those funds to over 50,000 beneficiaries. And more recently, they've been doing something really interesting. They've been moving towards a microcredit model, taking a lot of inspiration from Kiva, uh, where they're giving out microloans uh, I think on the order of $125,000 worth of microloans now. Uh, and so they can uh, keep taking that capital and uh, reusing it for more and more impact as people pay back the loans. And they've had an incredible um, uh, repayment rate. I think the default rate is less than 2%. And so they're seeing a lot of success here. So it's really, really amazing. Highly recommend uh, uh, staying on and listening to, to Will Lee, who will be I think, on stage later today. On the nature back capital front, so nature back capital, of course, is this idea by Charles Eisenstein, this idea that we can back money by things that we want to see more of in the world, so things like tokenized trees, tokenized carbon credits. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of great activity on this front on Celo. Um, Mento, which is the stablecoin protocol behind CUSD and CEURO, which is currently being spun out of the Celo DAO, uh, they've been experimenting with natural capital for a while uh, with, the in, with the introduction of um, carbon credits uh, backed by uh, Amazon Rainforest um, and having that be in, in the reserve. So they, they've been doing this now for a while, um, and they've inspired projects to come to Celo and create various types of nature-backed uh, assets that can be good collateral for stablecoin reserves. I think probably the thing that's uh, most exciting right now is Flow Carbon has partnered with Centrifuge to create uh, carbon um, future pools um, that will be um, interesting assets to, to back future stable coins, and they're collaborating with Mento right now to, to get some of those pools into the Mento reserve to back future stable coins. And then Collectivo, on a community level, has been doing this as well, which is really great. Uh, so they have a, uh, a regional stablecoin in Curaçao, and they've been backing the stablecoin uh, with natural capital on the island of Curaçao. So they've been experimenting on a much smaller scale, and it's just such a joy to see all of this type of experimentation. 
Now, that's just um, you know, a handful of projects that um, have covered topics that um, that were discussed in the white paper, you know, but we're, we're just getting started. Um, since the white paper, uh, since the launch of the Stella platform three and a half years ago, um, the Stella community got together and passed a governance vote that, amongst other things, um, made Stella the first chain to offset its carbon. Uh, so three and a half years ago, the community voted uh, to have the protocol programmatically buy carbon offset credits using Celo inflation, using emissions from the Celo protocol or Celo block rewards uh, to use a, um, a blockchain um, uh, vernacular. And this uh, has been running for three and a half years now uh, and probably is one of the reasons why Celo has kind of become this home for refi. Um, you know, we were the first chain to, to really put a stake in the ground and say, you know, chains can actually contribute positively to climate change. Um, and as a result, a lot of really great refi projects have come to Celo. But, you know, over the last three and a half years, uh, I don't have to uh, remind anyone in this room, you know, climate change continues to get worse. Um, every year we have record heat waves. Uh, you know, the time to act uh, is m now more urgently than ever. Um, and so the community has been thinking about more ways, more things that we can do to help accelerate the adoption of refi protocols that can be one of the um, important pieces that we can bring to helping fight climate change. Uh, and so with that, we're super excited uh, that with the last gingerbread hard fork, there is no gingerbread emoji, so I had to use ginger and a loaf of bread. Um, with the last gingerbread uh, hard fork, which happened two months ago, um, Celo has now introduced what we are calling ultra green money. Uh, so ultra green money is, of course, a play on ultrasound money. Who here is familiar with ultrasound money? Ultrasound money, of course, being a play on sound money, which is um, this idea by Bitcoin that you know there's only um, 21 million uh, Bitcoin that will ever be minted. Ultrasound money goes further in the Ethereum ecosystem, saying that actually we can have a deflationary currency by burning ETH, and with ultra green money, we can both burn cello, but we can take a portion of that cello and also use it towards public goods, specifically towards programmatically buying carbon offset credits on chain and retiring them on chain. So that every time you transact on the platform, a portion of your transaction fee is actually helping buy carbon credits and retiring uh, those credits to help fight climate change. And of course, the idea here is to create a virtuous cycle where uh, these purchases attract projects to, to launch um, protocols on Celo that issue these types of credits. Uh, people will then come to the uh, platform to buy these credits, creating transactions, which then in turn drives more demand for more of these, these um, projects. Now, just like any um, idea in crypto, you need a meme around it. And so uh, we have a meme around ultra green money. Um, inspired again by sound money and ultrasound money. So this is a speaker. The speaker represents sound. So this is what people use to represent sound money. Uh, the idea behind Bitcoin, uh, ultrasound money uh, combines a bat which uses uh, ultrasonic waves um, to see at night with a speaker. So you've got the bat, you've got the sound, ultrasound. Uh, for ultra green money, we replace the speaker with a tree. Um, and, you know, this is what we're using to represent uh, the ultra green money movement. And it's been uh, pretty exciting to see the impact that this has had already on the platform. Um, since the launch of ultra green money, we've retired 727 tons of CO2 uh, in the form of uh, NCT credits with Toucan, uh, also Project REN credits, and then EcoSapien credits. Uh, which has been pretty amazing to see. If you combine this with the credits that the protocol has been buying programmatically since the network has launched using Celo emissions, uh, that number is an extra 3,800 credits, bringing us to a total of 4,500 uh, tons of CO2 emissions that the protocol has collectively uh, uh, purchased and retired, and, and as a result, offset. So I, I plugged that into um, 
kind of one of those calculators online, and that's equivalent to about 9,000 passenger flights across the uh, Atlantic. Um, so it's pretty cool to see that, that impact today. And, you know, this has been accelerating more and more refi projects on Celo. There's been just an incredible amount of really great projects. Projects like Toucan, Flow Carbon, and Thalo. I have been working now with Gold, Gold Standard to, to bring credits on chain. Um, Toucan recently announced and launched uh, biochar credits, which is really, really exciting to see. Uh, we've also got projects that are doing, I would say, pretty crazy things. So Carbon Path is literally buying oil wells throughout the US and plugging them. So basically eliminating the possibility for any oil to be pumped out of those oil wells, uh, thus eliminating any CO2 emissions that would come from that oil, and then also plugging uh, any methane leaks, which as we all know can, can be uh, even worse uh, for climate change than just CO2. So pretty exciting. Um, and then something that uh, I'm really excited about is uh, combining you know, token economic incentive models, game theoretic models, to create protocols that encourage people to plant trees. So Sylvie is one of these protocols, and they have a really cool model for incentivizing people to plant trees um, and to have other people go and verify that those trees exist. So here's a screenshot from, from their app where someone is encouraged to take a picture of a new tree that someone planted. Um, I'm really excited for the potential that these types of protocols can have. Um, so yeah, that's everything from me. You know, if you enjoyed this talk, I encourage you to, to help join the movement. Let's spread the world, uh, spread the word. Uh, add a bat in a tree emoji to your uh, Twitter uh, or lens uh, display name. Um, and let's, um, you know, build with purpose. Let's build with all. Uh, let's do this. Thank you.